Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wednesday, July 20th, 2022 meeting of the Lake Havasu City Planning and Zoning Commission. Would you please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. Uh, Madam Secretary, would you please call the roll? Jim Harris. Here. Chad Nelson. Matthew Mitchell. Here. Gabrielle Medley. Here. David Diaz. Here. Susanna Ballard. Here. Joan DeZero. Here. Dane Hatch, Paul Lair, here, and Tiffany Wilson. Here. Okay, thank you. Um, let's do correspondence and announcements. Yes, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, thank you. Uh, only announcement I have, uh, you have a packet at your uh, seat here. Uh, it was a packet that was distributed, a petition objecting to uh, APX West investment proposed amendment to a development plan uh, for a, pro a project called Trinity Development up in the Havasu Foothills, basically phase three, the northeast portion of the property, northwest portion of the property. It was filed by Mr. <coughs> Keith Turner on July 15th. Um, he asked that it be distributed to all the Planning Commission and City Council members, so we left it here for your information. It's informational only at this point. The City has not received an official submittal for a plan development or a rezone for the property. If a project comes forward, uh, of course, it will come before this body as a public hearing for any rezone or plan development for that area. So it's just informational only. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, minutes of the last meeting. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections from the last meeting by commissioners? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. A motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I second that motion. Got a motion by Mr. Diaz, a second by Ms. Ballard to approve the minutes of the last meeting. Any further discussion? Hearing none, let's go ahead and place our votes. Motion passes six to zero. Okay, let me begin by saying that this is a public hearing and, there, and that there is a structured order to this proceeding. The city staff will present each item. There will be time for the commission to ask questions of the staff and then the applicant will have the opportunity to present their case to the commission. That being done, we will then open the proceeding to the public for their questions and input. After public testimony is taken, I will then close the public hearing and bring the motion back to the table for the city staff's recommendation, discussion amongst the commission, and eventually a motion to approve or disapprove. The first item on today's agenda is item number ID 22-3379. This is a request for a zone change for 1509, 1515, and 1519 El Camino Drive, track 2194, blocks two, lots one, two, and three, from limited commercial C1 to general commercial C2. Mr. Morris, your presentation, please. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, I think we may need to have a... Uh, some oh, Thank I'm you. sorry. Mr. Yeah, Laird. Mr. Chairman, I need to recuse myself on this item due to a conflict of interest. Okay, thank you. You, you may step down. Ms. Wilson, will you take Mr. Lair's place? And Mr. Levin, would you please take Mr. Nelson's place? I'm sorry, Mr. Harris, that's Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, I'm sorry. My, mis my mistake. Okay. Mr. Morris, your presentation. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, thank you very much. The subject lots are lots one, two, and three in, in block two. Uh, together they measure about 0.77 acres. They're located on El Camino Drive just east of London Bridge Road. Uh, there's an alley that abuts the east side of lot one and it wraps around behind the subject, three subject lots to the end of that block. Uh, lot one on the corner is developed with commercial stone and tile sales building with accessory outdoor storage. Lots two and three are vacant and undeveloped. Uh, here's the track map for the property. The properties are part of block two within this track 2194, which has a parking in common and building areas established per the recorded track map. The lots are 215 feet deep. The first 85 feet set aside as the building area and the rear 30 feet as parking in common. The rezone request does not modify these parking or building areas at all. Any changes to the uh, parking in common area will be required 
through a, a separate uh, application submittal and review process through the parking and common amendment process procedure. So there's no parking and common um, amendment for this property. Um, the zoning map, the subject properties are, and the properties to the east in this block are zoned limited commercial, which is C1, and developed with a mix of commercial uses, a church, and vacant lots. The properties to the south are, are a mix of C1 and C2 zoning and developed as a hotel, a vacant lot, a restaurant, and outdoor storage. The property to the west across the alley is vacant corner lot abutting London Bridge Road in his zone C2 general commercial. And then the properties to the north across the alley are zoned multiple, excuse me, residential manufactured home and developed with those types of uses. Uh, several lots in the area were previously rezoned from C1 to C2. Uh, these three lots here at, at 375, 85, and 95 El Camino Way were rezoned in April of 2017. And then three lots down here on El Camino Way were rezoned in August of 2017 from C1 to C2. Uh, the applicant's letter of intent asked to amend the zoning from commercial uh, C1 to general commercial C2 to facilitate development of future develop improvements that may include a warehouse, wholesale distribution, and other uses which are allowed in the C2 zoning district. That concludes staff's presentation. Uh, open any questions, the applicant is also here. Thank you. Are there any questions of staff by commissioners? Mr. Diaz. Mr. Morris, you mentioned the other lots have been uh, rezoned from C1 to C2. What, why? What was the reason why? We have a zone, we have a, we have a, you know, we have a zoning plot and then we change the zones all the time. So why, why have a zone? The zoning for these lots here on El Camino Way, uh, I believe they were for open lot storage. Uh, so that they have correct. a conditional use permit. They rezone it for open lot storage, and then they got a conditional use permit uh, for that use that's allowed in C2, and then they have a parking and common amendment to allow the storage in the parking area. Uh, the C2 down here were rezoned, I think, for, I'm not sure exactly the reason for those, uh, but it was rezoned to C2, uh, went through the same process. Uh, the general plan does support uh, C2 zoning in this area. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Any other questions of staff? Yes, Mr. Ms. Zer Zero. Correct. Thank you. No problem. Um, Mr. Morris, I just had a question on the uh, what they're asking for with this new change of C2 is not fabrication, Mr. Zero, right? can you use the microphone, please? Okay, thought it was. Sorry. Um, I was wondering on the... Um, the way they're changing this, this is not to change the fabrication. When I'm reading, it just does like warehouses, that kind of thing for the change, correct? Well, the, they're asking to be rezoned as C2 general commercial. So uh, any use allowed in the C2 zoning district could be allowed after the zoning change. Okay. But does so, that include fabrication of, uh, if somebody wants to do a fabrication business? Typically down the road? fabrication, depending upon the, the level of it, would be required a, a light industrial zoning. A limited aspect of, of fabrication may be allowed in C2. Staff would have to review and see how much of the, the building area on the property is being used for that fabrication type use. Uh, if it's something that's ancillary or accessory to the main use, then it might be allowed in C2. Uh, but otherwise, if it's straight up fabrication, then it would be a light industrial use uh, zoning typically. So that would come back? For review at that time. Correct. Okay, because I'm just concerned because of the apartment building across the street and then the housing on the other side of the street behind them for warehousing and stuff is probably not a problem, but fabrication can cause a lot of noise issues at different times. Okay, thank you. Typically, C2 properties um, are usually contained indoors. They do allow storage on those properties, but anytime there's some sort of fabrication or something like that, that would be taken into consideration as long as it's light fabrication indoors, lack of noise, that sort of thing, it might be a consideration, but, but uh, they would probably have to apply for that. Any other questions? All right, is the applicant present? Would you like to make a presentation? Not necessary if you don't want to. No. We're good. All right. Um, all right, this is a public hearing. 
I will open it to the public. If there's anybody in the public that wishes to speak on this item, anybody whatsoever, you're more than welcome to come to the microphone. Hearing none, I'll go ahead and close the public hearing portion of this item, bring it back to the table for staff's recommendations. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, thank you. Based on the findings, the Development Review Committee recommends the Planning Commission forward a recommendation of approval to the City Council for Land Use Action 22-3379, a zone change for 1509, 1515, and 1519 El Camino Drive, track 2194, block two, lots one, two, and three, from general commercial to, uh, excuse me, from limited commercial to general commercial. And as a reminder, this item will go to the August 23rd council meeting with the commission's recommendation. Thank you. Okay, we are at the table for discussion and or a motion. Ms. Ballard, were you reaching? Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion um, that we approve ID 22-3379 request for a zone change for 1509, 1515, and 1519 El Camino Drive, track 2194, block two, lots one and two and three, from limited commercial C1 to general commercial C2. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion by Ms. Ballard, a second by Ms. Zero, um, to approve item number 22-3379 with staff's recommendations. Any further discussion? I'm gonna start by saying, just uh, for edification of the new uh, members of the commission, zoning requests like this don't necessarily have to have a planned use go with the application. The zoning either, it either warrants the zoning or it does not on its own merit. So they don't have to have a, a, a plan or, or some sort of a use for it. That was kind of, I think, what you were trying to get at with your questions. So having said that, any further discussion? All right, let's call for the question. Motion passes six to one. Congratulations and good luck. All right, the next item on the agenda is the call to the public. This is where anybody in the public can address the commission should they wish. We may not respond, but anybody can come up and talk to the commission if they want. Anybody for the call to the public? Hearing nobody, we'll go ahead and close the call to the public and future meetings, Mr. Morris. Mr. Chairman, commissioners, thank you. Um, August 3rd meeting, we have no items for that, so that meeting's been canceled. The next scheduled meeting is August 17th. We do anticipate having items for the August 17th meeting. Thank you. I will go on record right now as saying I will be on vacation. So I will not be here. All right, thank you, commissioners. We stand adjourned. Thank you.